Hey everybody, back with another video in the uh, uh, home electrical systems. This is video three. We're still talking about 110 volts AC, and today we're going to talk about switches. Okay, switches are uh, obviously it's it's on the wall. Everybody knows what a switch looks like. Every time you walk into a room, it's either right there on the left, or or on the left or on the right hand side. Turns the lights on, right? Switches are typically ran in a 15 amp circuit. And I, to get into switching, um, we're going to have to draw a wiring diagram, and it'll be a real simple one. But uh, a switch is going to um, look like this, and it's either going to be in the in the down position, okay, or it's going to be in the up position, okay. Uh, so typically, I'm going to draw a uh, I'm going to draw a side view of a switch, okay. And and like the plugs, you are uh, you're going to have uh, two screws. You're going to have two screws here, and it doesn't matter. Um, what the colors are? I think they're, they're, they're I think they're brass. But uh, when the switch is in the up position, that means it's on. Okay. If it's in the down position, that means it's off. If it's backwards of that, then it's either either installed upside down, or you have maybe something different that's called a three-way switch. Okay. But this is three-way switches are for another video because that gets into more wiring schematics. So this is what you call a um, <clears throat> uh, it's it's a switching uh, it's a switch. Okay, okay, here we go. I'm going to draw in a, uh, a a schematic, and we have this is this is one wire. Okay, uh, this is going to be. Um, uh, how we're going to draw this? This is, this indi this little symbol here is an indication indication of a switch. And then we're going to draw our load. Loads can be motors, light bulbs, whatever. But we're going to draw our load like this. Okay, this would be a symbol for a load because that would indicate some type of coil or resistance. Okay, um, it, you can also uh, maybe see it as something like this in a wiring schematic that would indicate a motor or something like that. Um, but we are looking at a light bulb. There's our curly coil, right? Okay. Okay. So, and then this goes back to the other end. So, in in the open position, this switch here is currently in the open position, and no electricity can flow through this wire, okay? Absolutely nothing's going to happen there. Um, <clears throat> when you close the switch, okay, so that would, be look, that would look like this, now the electricity can pass through, energize, and head on back, okay? And then when that switch is in this position, that's called closed or on, okay? Um, this is, uh, again, pretty basic stuff. It's pretty easy. I'm trying to keep it as uh, simplified as possible uh, so that we can all understand what's going on here. Now, in the previous video, you probably remember that we talked about the black wire, the white wire, or the hot and the neutral. Now, to get any loads to work, they have to be connected to a neutral and a hot to get it to work, right? So, let's say... Your, let's say you have a lamp, and we're going to plug it right into the wall. Remember, we got the, uh, the the plug over here, and the ground terminal there. Okay, so your plug uh, is going to have two terminals on it, and that's it. And your cord sticking out of it. You're going to plug that in, and maybe it comes right on. There's no switches at all in it. So that would be that would be a circuit that would look just like this. Okay, this would be your cord. So let's redraw this so you can you can see it all together in a different manner. Okay, here's your here's your light or your lamp. Here's your light bulb and your curly coil. Here's your cord. Okay, 
and you've got your, your plug on the end of it with two plugs. You're going to plug it into the wall. One, two, and there's your ground. You plug it in. That circuit is going to look just like this. I'll try to draw it as close as possible. You got your black wire. In this case, it may not be black, but it is your hot wire, okay? And then you got your neutral wire, okay? This is your cord. This would be your plug, okay? And on the other end of this is your lamp or your load, okay? That's pretty much it. That's, that's all that circuit is. So, <clears throat> we'll get into more circuits and things uh, on, on upcoming videos, but I just wanted to cover switches real quick, and switches do nothing more than open the path of electricity from the hot um, in, in, your, in your neutral and, and some type of load, okay? There's, there, this, this would indicate that it would be on all the time, and then we go ahead and take this out, put a terminal stop here, there should be one here and here too, and, and then bing, we open the circuit, and electricity cannot flow through there. All right, uh, that's that. That concludes our video uh, on switches. Video number three, concluding our video on switches. Um, uh, again, if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below, and I will do videos. I'll do subsequent video on every question asked. At least I'll try to. Okay, so um, we look forward. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing you on video four and. Uh, We'll see you. Thanks.